Hi guys, this is EI01 and today in this video we're going to learn how to build a simple frequency sound generator. By changing this resistor, you change the frequency sound. For the list of components for this video and other links to other previous videos we have covered, check below the description box. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Place your 5 timer on your breadboard so that it's not faces forward. Connect pin 2 and pin 6 of the 5 timer IC. Connect pin 4 and pin 8 of the 5 timer IC. Place a 33 kilo ohms resistor between pin 3 and pin 6 of the 5 timer IC. Place a 100 nanofarad capacitor to pin 1 and pin 2 of the IC. This is a BC557 transistor and is a PNP transistor. Its configuration is different from an NPN transistor. Do check the datasheet before using them. Place the PNP transistor such that its collector pin is connected to the pin 8 of the 55 Tamar IC. So with the push button switch, place one of its terminals to the emitter pin of the transistor. Place a jump power wire to the switch terminal and the positive rail. Place another jump power wire to pin one of the IC to the negative rail. Place a 10 UF capacitor such that its positive is connected to the base pin of the transistor and the negative to an empty hole. Connect a jumper wire to the negative side of the capacitor to an empty hole. Place another 10 UF capacitor such that its negative is connected to the pin 3 and then its positive is connected with the jumper wire. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to be placing another 10 UF capacitor to the pin 8 of the 55 Tama IC. Placing it in series to the pin 8 of the 55 Tama IC, such that its positive is connected to the positive rail and then its negative is connected to the um, pin 8. So you have to be careful at this point, make sure that its terminals are not having contact with um, this other capacitor here. So place a 100k resistor to the ground pin and then one of its terminals to the base pin of the transistor. Now I have my speaker. This will be the last thing or maybe um, not. So we're going to be placing this to um, the terminals of the two capacitors. And place the next wire to the positive rail. And if you're done, your circuit should look something like this. If you love what you're seeing here, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So, this is our positive rail and this is our negative rail. So, we are going to be connecting our supply voltage. So, I'm using a 6 volt to um, 7 volt um, supply voltage. And now, I think my circuit should work. So, push the button and what's going on? What's going on with this circuit? There's a problem. There's a problem. There's a problem. What may be the fault? Let's... Uh, Oh, sometimes electronics is so frustrating. Why? Oh, maybe that's not true. We are the ones frustrating electronics and electronics tries to frustrate us back. So it's uh, a lot of cause and effect. <laughs> so think, still thinking, maybe, what have I done here? So um, maybe if you know what's wrong with this circuit, um, you can be the first to drop your answers in the comment section below. Before we figure out what's wrong with this circuit. But the truth is, I tricked you. Let's see. Remember when I said that this is a PNP transistor and its configuration is different from an NPN transistor? So that was a mistake that we made. So um, we are supposed to connect the collector pin to the um, pin 8, not the emitter. So we are going to be swiping that over to um, the other way. So but by the way, for those who got the question right, let me know your answers as right. And the ones who got it wrong, let me know it as wrong on the comment section below. So this is the right way for positioning a PNP transistor. 
So we are going to be um, now doing the writing, connecting its collector pin to um, the pin 8 of the Fapai Vitama IC. And then it's a meter pin to the switch. Finally, with the power supply again, we are going to be testing our circuits. I just hope this works well. God of electronics, please do not frustrate me and do not because it's gonna be an embarrassment. <laughs> funny, right? Oh, but well, sometimes electronic is so funny. <laughs> so um finally we are gonna be testing this. Hmm, I think I should bring that more closer to the camera. And then we have a circuit working perfectly well. So do not forget to also give me a thumbs up and also uh if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss all the upcoming projects next week to change the frequency we change this resistor here and replacing that with a 220 kilo ohms resistor um but i don't think there's a big difference here let's try a 22k resistor here And now there's a big difference. Okay, let's try a one kilo ohms resistor. There's a huge difference when I added a one kilo ohms resistor. But by the way, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and see you next time.